Welcome to Using CASPER Reports for Data-Driven QAPI, Part 1, Accessing CASPER Reports. The purpose of this session is to explain the process for accessing the CASPER Reports. CASPER stands for Certification and Survey Provider Enhanced Reporting. The various reports you can run include final validation, facility characteristics, facility level quality measures, monthly comparisons, quality measure package reports, and resident level quality measures. Prior to a facility opening, they must apply for access to the CMS net system. The entity that arranges and assists with this is the QTSO, which stands for the KEYS Technical Support Office. As you can see here, KEYS stands for Quality Improvement and Evaluation System. Each state has an automation coordinator to assist with the initial setup, as well as troubleshooting technical issues. The staff at QTSO are also very helpful with troubleshooting issues. Each facility can have a maximum of two sets of credentials so that two staff can access the system, usually a primary user and a backup. Anytime a user is having technical difficulties, they can either call the toll-free phone number or go to the website help at qtso.com for assistance. In the process of accessing the site, this pop-up will appear. You will need to click on OK. By clicking OK, you are acknowledging that you are accessing a government system and that you have no reasonable expectation of privacy regarding any communication or data being transmitted or stored on this system, which now includes your computer. Upon successful login to CMSNet, you will see this image. There are links to several features and functions. Next to the black keyhole, you will see the link to click on to submit MDS assessments and corrections. The link to reset your password is also on this page, as well as a link to the user's guide. Click on the CASPER reporting link on the left side to access final validation and other provider reports. This is the next screen you will see. Only the reports which you have access to will be listed on the left side. After you choose and click on a category on the left side, the reports available in that particular category will be listed on the right side. In this example, the category chosen is MDS 3.0 QM reports. Notice the buttons or tabs across the top right of the system. Currently, we are on the reports tab where you can see the reports available. The folders tab is where you view the reports you run. The Q tab shows progress on processing of the reports you requested. And you may also want to use the options tab. This page allows you to select the format for the reports. The default is a PDF document, but you may select Excel document to make the data sorting and analysis more convenient for you. The next screen that comes up will be pre-filled with the beginning and ending dates for the previous full six-month period. You can change these dates by entering them in the required format. The earliest date for which you can pull a report is October 1st, 2010. Keep in mind that state and national comparison data are delayed by two months. This is to allow for the time it takes to finalize and publicize the data. The most recent six-month period available for reporting state and national comparison data are three months prior to the current month. The default value of the comparison group field is the most recent six-month period. You may use the drop-down list to select earlier periods. The earliest is October 1, 2010. By the way, reports are automatically purged after 60 days. So if you want to be able to review them after that, you will need to save them to your computer in a secure location because of the contents of the report. The instructions explain that detailed information is being accessed when you request a report and to have patience. In fact, it is recommended that you exit the application and review the completed reports at a later time. Once the MDS 3.0 facility characteristics report has been generated, the header of the report 
will look like this. It has the facility, I, facility ID, your CMS certification number or CCN, the facility name and city and state. You will also see the date on which this particular data was calculated. The quality measure statistics are automatically recalculated weekly in order to account for the newly submitted data. The dates in the report period reflect the reporting period selected by the user. In this case, March 1st, 2011 through August 31st, 2011. State and national statistics are automatically calculated for various time periods, and these pre-calculated statistics are used to produce comparison group statistics in the body of the report. The dates in this field indicate the comparison group time period that was used for this report. The run date is the date on which the report was run, and the version will change whenever there is an update to the software system. You can see here in this old screenshot that it is version 1.0, and we are currently on version 3.0. The body of the MDS 3.0 facility characteristics report details the facility numerator, facility denominator, facility observed percentage, comparison group state average, and comparison group national average for each of the following resident characteristics for the selected facility and reporting period. You will see gender, age, diagnostic characteristics of psychiatric, intellectual or developmental disability, and hospice, how many residents have a prognosis of six months or less, whether a discharge plan is or is not already occurring, whether a referral is needed or not, and if one has been made. You will also see whether or not a resident was admitted or readmitted to the facility and where they were admitted from. The numerator indicates the number of residents with the identified characteristics and the denominator indicates the total number of residents in the facility during the selected time period. Aver simple average percentages are provided for each resident characteristic among all facilities in the state and nation for the selected comparison period group. For each quality measure, simple average percentages are provided for each resident characteristic among all facilities in the state and nation for the selected comparison group period. For each quality measure, the MDS 3.0 facility level quality measure report shows the facility percentage and how the facility compares with other facilities in their state and in the nation. This report helps facilities identify possible areas for further emphasis in quality improvement activities or investigation during the survey process. The MDS 3.0 facility level quality measure report displays quality measure numerator and denominator counts for the selected period. It includes the facilities observed and adjusted triggered percentages as well as state and national average percentage comparisons and a national ranking for each measure. This is covered in part two of the series. As a reminder, quality measure data are calculated weekly for the assessments submitted since the previous week's data cal calculation. However, state and national comparison group data are calculated monthly on the first day of the month. Data calculation is delayed by two months in order to allow for submission of late and corrected assessments. This is the screen you will return to when you want to select another report to run. Click on the report on the right-hand side and follow the same steps as you did for the previous report. The criteria selection page for the MDS 3.0 facility level quality measure report presents begin date, end date, and comparison group options. The date the most recent quality measure data were calculated is indicated. Begin date and end date dates are pre-filled with the most recent completed six-month period prior to the month the data were last calculated. You may enter alternate dates in the month-month, day-day, year-year-year-year format. An error message is presented if the data, the date criteria are invalid. Examples include an incorrect date format, the begin date being after the end date, 
the begin date being prior to October 1st, 2010, the end date being after the date on which the data were calculated, and the use of future dates for alpha characters. Comparison group date range options include six month intervals beginning with October 1st, 2010. The most recent six month period available for reporting state and national comparison data ends three months prior to the current month. Thank you for reviewing part one of the Using Casper Reports for Data-Driven QAPI. If you have any questions or requests, please contact your state lead.